mesti fikir untuk ubah sistem kita yang tidak adil. Tuntut supaya ada perubahan ke arah kebaikan. When he first shouted Reformasi 20 years ago, it immediately became a defining slogan in the civic movement of contemporary Malaysia. It also marked a watershed moment in Anwar Ibrahim's destiny. <laughs> Since then, a wave of social change that called for national reform, as well as ruling party alternation, has engulfed the whole country and become a protracted movement. It is a clamor for the fall that Malaysia need to mature as a democracy because the country was known to be blatantly corrupt and grossly unjust. And it's time that people undertake this reform. That's precisely what reformacy means. Starting as a radical Islamic student, Anwar made a great leap from being a youth movement leader to becoming the deputy president of the ruling party UMNO and even the deputy prime minister of this country. After being sacked and five years of imprisonment, he got back on his feet as Malaysia's opposition leader and started an uncompromising political battle. lawan pemerintah yang sombong dan zalim dan rasuah. In the 2008 general election, he successfully engineered a political tsunami. The opposition alliance led by him captured the ruling power of five federal states and denied the ruling coalition's two-thirds parliamentary majority. In 2013, he led the opposition alliance into the general election again and obtained more than half of the total votes cast nationwide, which posed a serious threat to their ruling power. Although he failed to overthrow the UMNO government, it paved the way for Malaysia's historic regime change in 2018. Anwar Ibrahim. The name represents a war in Malaysia's modern history. This documentary is about him and his story. I think my determination to work for a free, independent, just Malaysia for all its citizens. That is stronger than ever. And I must reiterate that I'm not prepared to concede on that ground. <laughs>